So I'm going to give you a piece of advice on how to master the dragon flag, which is the famous Bruce Lee pose that you see all over the internet that he performed. And to this day, if you can perform it, that means you have a, a really strong core. So here, let's, let's go over it. Here, so I'm going to show you guys the form and then uh, I'll break down the technique. <laughs> All right, I think the most important part of that move, learning how to, to start on the top of your lats. Because if you're starting on your back and you wanna start vertical, if you're, on your, if you're on the middle of your back, you're gonna be piking. You do not wanna be piking. You wanna be straightening it out, engaging your core and squeezing your glutes. So I'll show you what some people might do. They'll do like this. They're not on top of their, their traps. They'd be more like, on their lower back or right on the middle of their back and so then what happens is that causes a pike and you don't want the pike you want to start engaged at the top unless you're starting at the bottom too that to me is a little bit harder but it's kind of the same thing you need to engage your core so you can elevate it off the ground but you don't want to be piking when you're doing it. If you're piking, what you need to do is actually go down a regression. You need to bend your legs, but then try to keep it straight. Or the, the previous regression in that order would just be keeping it really tucked here. And you can still get a workout from here because you just want to keep your, your abs engaged the whole entire time. But personally, I feel like the dragon flag is probably the best ab exercise and far more superior than doing crunches. You're not really activating every single muscle group if you're first laying on your back and you're just coming in like this. Like you don't get that glute engagement, which is also important because you want to start building that symbiotic relationship between your abs and your and your glutes so that when you start getting to like front levers you're squeezing your glutes and elevating your hips up like that so to me the crunch is like the way i would see it is you, you'd get so much more benefit from learning how to do the dragonfly but a, a better regression if you're going to do a dragonfly is definitely being more just learning how to get on the top of your traps is the most important thing so if you're starting at the most basic regression just learning how to roll up just learning how to roll up on top of your the top of your traps and come down but yeah dragonfly far more superior than crunches and it's a way cooler move and you can hit it anywhere and a lot of people will be impressed so that one really impresses the crowd. And it benefits you because it's something to work towards where the crunch will always stay the same. Even when you start as a beginner, the crunch is gonna be the same as when you start getting to a high level, level of doing 100 crunches. Whereas the dragon flag, there's different body positions that you have to master in order to unlock it.